In this After Effects CS6 tutorial, we're going to understand one concept about modes. So what we do is we go File, Import, Import your files, and I found two different uh, wallpapers from InterfaceLift.com just for testing purposes. So you import the file, and what we do is once you import it, you'll see that it's going to be in your project window here. We have Wallpaper, JPEG, as well as Wallpaper 2. You drag these little icons here drag it into the bottom and it's going to create a composition for you and you can see that if you drag both of these down we're going to have two different layers. Notice how the layer that's on top is uh, the one that you see and then if you actually click on the layer and you drag it down uh, we have the other, the other layer on top. So the, what I did here is when I actually uh, drag these in is I actually uh, changed the duration of these uh, um, of of these uh, pictures and you can slide them as well in the timeline and I'm just gonna make these pictures appear for five seconds so that's what we did so both pictures are last for five seconds each so this means that you can only see one of these pictures at a time notice how there's clouds here and if I click and I drag down to change the order of the layers uh, you should you should um, be able to see uh, depending on whichever layer is higher is the one that we see so in one layer we saw clouds in this layer we see a very strong mountain for those of you who are familiar with Photoshop there's a very powerful concept the idea of kind of mixing layers together and I'm not just talking about opacity even though we can change the opacity of a layer uh, it's an idea of uh, selectively revealing layers depending on the blending mode. So how do we do that? What we do is you right click the word source name, right click, go to columns, and make sure that we have this uh, sorry uh, thing called modes selected. Right click, columns, and go to modes. And once you have the mode, notice how we have a drop down box much like Photoshop you have a category, these lines represent a section, the section that somehow takes the two layers, it takes the layer and the layer underneath it and mixes it in a darkening effect. This somehow lightens it up a little bit and this one here somehow increases the contrast. So a very popular one is called multiply. So when I choose multiply what's happening is it's going to take these two layers and right now I have pictures. However, uh, the same can be applied with videos, so you can actually mix two videos at the same time in uh, so that you see the clouds there. And you can just play around toggling with these options here. Uh, somehow multiply, you get, you get some kind of dark effect depending on the colors of the two layers. And if you choose screen, you get the reverse where everything, the overall result is somehow lighter. So this is something to play around with if you want to somehow selectively reveal certain things. So hopefully you can play with that. Make sure that uh, you have the uh, mode option chosen and this is something that you might want to play with to create some interesting effect.